very good morning students welcome to our 28th lecture of econ 353 that is agriculture or marketing trade and prices in last few lecture we have seen about the different marketing functions like packaging and transportation so today we will see another most important marketing function that is storage as we know storage is an important marketing function which involves holding preserving goods from the time they are produced until they are needed to be consumed by the consumers so storage function creates the time utility so storage is an exercise of human foresight by means of which commodities are protected from the deterioration and surplus surplus deterioration by some natural factor quality deterioration quantity deterioration and surplus means additional supplies in a times of plenty are carried over the season of scarcity means we can store we can store the agricultural products for a long time when their supply is plenty or when their supply is very high up to the period of scarcity the storage function therefore adds the time utility to the product as we know we have seen the <clears throat> transportation product transportation of function adds the place utility then similarly storage function adds the time utility to the product so agriculture is characterized by the relatively large and irregular seasonal and year to year fluctuation in production so every year in agriculture we did not get the same level or constant level of the production there is a fluctuation so this conflicting behavior or this fluctuating behavior of demand and supply of agriculture product make it necessary in a large quantities of farm produce they need to be stored to supply throughout the year so storage function is an old as a man himself means it is running from a ancient era or from a very old times okay and it is performed at a all levels in a trade producer they hold their part of consumption as a storage then traders toward traders or the merchant they store the some produce in a hope of getting maximum price or higher price in a future time okay Uh, then uh, retailers also they store various product commodities to satisfy the consumers day to day needs consumers also stores the food grain depending on their financial status so this is about the storage storage means keeping or preserving the goods for a long time or for some time of duration okay that is a storage so storage function adds the time utility to the product so we will see reasons for storage of agricultural products why agricultural products they are necessary to store or to be stored so as we know agricultural products are seasonal in nature they are produced seasonally but their requirement is throughout the year okay so most of agriculture products or all the agriculture products they are produced seasonally but the requirement is throughout year for the consumption or other purposes also the storage of goods therefore from the time of production to the time of consumption ensures the continuous flow of goods in the market so because of storage we can ensure the flow of goods or supply of goods throughout year in the market so storage protects the quality of the perishable and semi perishable products from the deterioration some of the goods for example woolen garments have a seasonal demand but we can produce <coughs> those woolen garments throughout the year to cope this demand production on continuous basis and storage become necessary so here is need of the storage so storage helps in the stabilization of prices by adjusting the demand and supply 
because of storage function we can stabilize the prices by adjusting the demand of the product and the supply of that particular product storage is necessary for some period for the performance of other marketing functions also means for example for other marketing functions like processing before processing we need to store we need to store so this storage function also helps to other marketing functions also for example the produce has to be stored till arrangement for the transportation are made similarly in processing also okay the storage of some farm commodities is necessary for their ripening for example banana banana and some mango or some other fruit crops also they need to store for their ripening after the harvesting up to the marketing or consumption of that product so they need to store okay storage provides employment and income through the price advantages means price margin earned by the marketing middleman that is a storage provides employment and income through the price advantage or price difference so these are the few reasons why storage of agriculture products is needed or necessary next is which are the risks as we have learned there are different risk in agriculture marketing that is the price risk institutional risks okay similarly there are some risk in storage function also first one risk of quantity loss first one is risk of quantity loss the risk of quantity loss in a quantity may arise during storage as a result of the presence of rodents insects pest theft fire etc or any other factors also dehydration also bring about an unavoidable loss in a weight okay it has been estimated that about 10 million tons of food grains are lost every year because of poor and faulty storage facilities so there is a very big risk in a quantity loss because of the insect pest rodents fire theft okay and some humidity humidity dehydration is there rainfall is there okay or high temperature is also these are the some few factors which affects the quantity of that product during the storage so this is the first risk in a storage that is quantity loss second is quality deterioration this is most important risk as we know quality of any agriculture product is most important as we know all the agriculture products they are the seasonal in nature or some pro agriculture produces like vegetable fruits they are perishable in nature so there will be the automatically quality deterioration see the second important risk in all in the storage is the storage of farm products is a deterioration in the quality quality deterioration which reduces value of the stored products if the quality of that product is decreased or reduced automatically their price will be reduced or they will get the less price these losses may arise as a result of insect of attack insect attack okay then pest presence of the rodents excessive moisture excessive temperature as a result of sometime chemical reactions on the agriculture products during the period of the storage dehydration of fruits vegetable meat during the during the storage function this may cause the less price to that particular product butter if not properly stored may become a rancid means if they are not stored at a uh, specific temperature they become rancid which reduces their sell value the loss in the quality of farm product varies with quality at the time of storage and the method of storage and the period of storage so overall the quality deterioration is totally depend on the when you have stored that product at which quantity or at which quality then what is the method of storage and what is the period of storage so this is about the risk in a storage that is quantity loss quality loss
quality deterioration and last one is the most important it is a price risk this is too is an important risk involved in storage of farm products it is not necessary or it is not fixed that if you store the product you will get the higher price in a future so there is a price risk price do not always rise enough during the storage period to cover the storage cost at a times they falls or sometimes they falls in hauling the owner as a substantial loss so if the price falls in a future if you have stored some uh, agriculture produce if their price is falls in a future time they will face that producer they will face the losses okay so this is about the risks in a storage function first one quality loss quantity loss quality deterioration and the price risk so next is the different storage structures as we know we are storing the food grains or the agriculture products in a different structure there are mainly two types that is underground storage structures and surface storage structures in a old era or in a recent you know old era before few years ago farmers they are storing their products they are storing their produces underground under underground structure these are the dug out structures similar to the wells with sides are plastered with cow dung cement or sand also okay they may be circular or rectangular in shape capacity varies with the size of that well or size of that storage structure the protection against climatic factors like temperature humidity etc and also in case of thefts also it is a very protective so these are the underground storage structures these are the some points or advantages of the underground storage structure then second one is the surface storage structure in that very common is bag storage that is storage of the agriculture produce in a bags okay then second one bulk or the loose storage in a bulk or in a high quantity or the loose storage so there are some uh, common storage structures that is koti or mud pots are there okay then kutla tikka metal drums gunny bags these are the some common storage structures they are having different capacities of storage different uh, uh, material used for their construction okay used for their development of structures now keep in mind indian grain storage institute that is igsi it was established in 1958 their headquarter at hapur uttar pradesh the question may be asked write down the long form of igsi that is indian grain storage institute which was established in 1958 with headquarter at hapur uttar pradesh okay now we will see these are the some common storage structures we have seen now we will see the improved grain storage structures so for in that also there are two parts that is for small scale storage and for the large scale storage so first one pau bin so this storage structure is made up of galvanized metal iron and this storage structure is developed by or is developed by punjab agriculture university ludhiana then second one is pusa bin these are the bin like or cylinder like structures second one pusa bin so pusa bin it is made up of mud and bricks with a polythene film for the covering the inner surface so pusa bin it was developed by iari indian agriculture research institute new delhi so their capacities are different according to size and size of that particular structure then most important hapur thick hapur tika it may be asked for your examination which storage structure 
developed by the IGSI that is Indian Grain Storage Institute okay that is Hapurtika it is a cylindrical rubbished cloth structure developed by the IGSI Hapur Uttar Pradesh. These are the some small scale storage structures and last one is for large scale storage structures for storing the large quantity of the agriculture products that is first one is cap storage cap means cover and plinth cap means cover and plinth c a p cover and plinth so this storage structure was developed by the food corporation of india that is fci then second most important that is warehouses as we have learned as we have know warehouses they are constructed or established by the fci with the central warehousing corporation and the state warehousing corporation now recent days there are some private sector warehouses also available so these are the warehouses these are the big buildings under which the agriculture produces are stored then last one is silos these are the very big structures their capacity is up to 25000 tons their storage capacity is up to 25000 tons so these silos are established or developed by the food corporations of india so regarding warehousing and warehouses we will see in the next lecture so for this course or for this topic also you can refer the book agriculture marketing in india by acharya and agrawal and second book is agricultural economics by subba reddy thank you